In the treacherous depths of the sea, danger lurks. The ongoing conflicts in the Middle East are intensifying. A major player has made a daring move by attacking U.S. Navy ships in the Red Sea. Why did they choose the Red Sea as a battleground? Who is this dominant player? And what is the aftermath of this daring attack on one of the world's most formidable naval forces? The Red Sea is an important commerce route that connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Indian Ocean. The transportation of products between Europe, Asia, and Africa is greatly dependent on the Red Sea. There are serious concerns regarding marine security in light of the recent increase in Houthi drone and missile attacks in the Red Sea. The Yemeni rebel group Houthi has taken responsibility for multiple attacks on ships in this canal. But who are the Houthis? They were a rebel group that first appeared in Yemen. They opposed the Yemeni government, citing marginalization and discrimination against their community. The Houthi rebels are leading forces in the Yemen conflict. They have deliberately targeted the Red Sea as part of their effort to gain attention and power. They disrupt maritime trade and raise awareness of their cause on a global scale by attacking both military and commercial ships. The Houthi drone and missile attacks on commercial vehicles occur almost daily, causing increased fear. The mighty U.S. Navy, one of the most powerful naval forces in the world, arrives on the scene. Its role extends beyond maritime security and military goals. They assist allies, strengthen diplomatic ties, and highlight the strategic significance of their presence in preserving security in this critical maritime corridor. The U.S. Navy ships in the Red Sea are well equipped with advanced weaponry. The Navy is fully prepared with weapons ranging from the AIS combat system to missile systems. What are torpedoes? They are powerful underwater missiles that can be fired from a secret submarine. Don't forget the classic naval guns, a tried and true tool for surface warfare. The U.S. Navy is loaded and locked, ready for any challenge. What will be the outcome of the action-packed confrontation between these two forces in these dangerous waters? The U.S. Navy's relationship with the Houthi rebels in the Red Sea is mainly about defense rather than direct combat confrontations. Why? Basically, this is due to the U.S. Navy's unmatched superiority. The Navy's three main objectives in the area are to protect ships, fight piracy, and maintain the freedom of navigation in international waters. The U.S. Navy's response to Houthi rebel ships has been safeguarding maritime activity and keeping things from getting out of hand. There haven't been many direct encounters between the U.S. Navy and the Houthis. The U.S. prioritizes de-escalation, deterrence, and defense tactics to minimize ship threats and preserve regional stability. Even with all that, the Houthis are still making waves with their attacks on ships in the Red Sea, sparking serious concerns about the region's marine security. The Houthis have taken credit for employing drones, missiles, and other weapons to target many ships. The attacks targeted commercial ships traveling through the Red Sea in addition to military ships. The U.S. Navy and its foreign allies used defensive tactics and vigilance to protect ships and counter such threats. The Houthi rebels in Yemen just shook things up by launching ballistic missiles at three commercial ships. But wait, there's more. A U.S. destroyer shot down three drones in self-defense during an hour-long attack. The Houthi rebels, supported by Iran, claimed the two attacks on commercial ships in the Red Sea. The Oscar Ney, an American destroyer, shot down more than a dozen drones that were launched from Yemeni areas under Houthi control. The USS Carney identified a potential threat on December 3, 2023. Ballistic missiles launched from Houthi-controlled territory in Yemen targeted ships in the Red Sea, specifically the MV Unity Explorer. The action really picks up at this point. The USS Kearney unleashed an attack in response to the ballistic missile launch. It teamed up with U.S. and British naval forces to intercept and counter the incoming missile attack using its top-notch detection systems and powerful weaponry. The Houthas have thrown everything from direct attacks to anti-ship missiles. They even executed a risky operation of helicopter landings to take control of a commercial ship. Now, here's the tricky part. With all these regional conflicts going on, how can the U.S. Navy stay in the Red Sea? It's a real challenge and the biggest roadblock? Security threats. What's your opinion about the U.S. Navy's front and center approach? Don't you think it's time for a different strategy? Comment below. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we drop a new video.